Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah man. Um, I want to introduce y'all, welcome y'all to Little Blood TV. You know what I'm saying? Powered by the core media. This our first little episode. And uh, we uh, I'm proudly to introduce to some, present to others. My boy, my bruh, you know what I'm saying? Real stand-up guy. I got the honor and the privilege to sit here and be talking to this brother. This brother done been through a lot, a whole lot. You feel me? From um, assassination attempts to uh, federal prison bids to just all type of stuff, man, that'll make the average motherfucker kill himself or fall by the wayside. Um, I call him bruh, Johan, you feel me? But uh, he go by the name of Yosama. He's from West Stokeland, for sure, for sure. Um, on behalf of Lord Bottom, you dig what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, Yosama, what's happening? Talk to the people. Oh, man, what's up, bro? You know, man, it's a pleasure to be here. You know, it's a treat when players meet. Fair for a square, suckers get booed off the stage, you know. You know, we just here, man. You know, everyday life, man. Very you know, life. it's a it's a pleasure to be here, you know. I take honor in being here. I'm blessed. I can blessed. say that much. I'm I'm really blessed to be here. You know. So, I didn't uh, I didn't uh question. You know, Quick talk to me. Quick one. Uh tell me about West Oakland. Like, tell me how was it for you? Like, just in some small words, just to sum it up, like, how was it for you growing up in that West? Well, you know, growing up in West Oakland, it's like a different, it's a different aura. You know, it's it's like, it's like we the bottom of the barrel for real. You know, growing up, a lot of people, you know, niggas be hollering at the females or whatever. They be like, where you from? Like, I'm from West Oakland, and it's instantly like, oh, you from the West. They called us the dirty people. The dirty, you know what I'm saying? They called us dirty people, but we was always the sauciest. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's a lot of people that was kind of scared to come to that West, you know, quote, unquote. But, you know, we we, we done came a long way on that West side, man. I, I grew up in the hood where, you know, I went to Huey P. Newton candlelight. You know what I'm saying? When Huey P. Newton died. You know, we, we lit candles and marched around the hood or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Like, they call us the old school. Uh, They they call West Oakland the, the, the Harlem of the West Coast. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. But we ain't nothing like Harlem. Yeah. No, nah, but, you know, they, they, they say we was like the Harlem of the West Coast or whatever growing up. So it's like really. To me, like I'm the I'm the last. We the last stop before you get to the city, man. You got to go through us to get to San Francisco. No matter which way you come, you know what I'm saying. You got to come through that uh, with the the West Binkter. That West Binkter. You know what I'm saying. So, you know, I take pride in my section, man. You know what I'm saying. I'm from Lower Bottom. You know, my brother Bloody from Dogtown, but it's family ties in the, in his blood that connect us. You know what I'm saying. Like, I got family from Dogtown. You know, I got I, I I just been all around that, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm real West Oakland. Like, yeah. I'm from the bottoms, but I'm real West Oakland. Like I I stumped through it all. I stumped through it all. And I'm like I'm like uh I'm like A Wax. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm like A Wax, you feel me? I'm OG in the hood. So you know, it's like eh. You know, we just keep this shit lit. So I just heard you speak on um, you attending Huey P. Candlelight. And we talking about Black Panther, Huey P. Newton, right? Yes, sir. Yes, just sir. To, uh, yes, sir. Yeah, okay, okay. You know, so I've I, I, I I've been around for a lot of it, you know. I don't I don't watch a lot of people fall to the wayside, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just, I'm just happy to still be here, you know. Right, right. I just... I, I stand on morals, something that a lot of people might not have these days, you know. So did you generations. did you know him personally or like how No, I didn't know him personally. Him? I was I was a uh, what they call a young lad back then, you know what I'm saying? But I, I did see him a few times in growing up in my lifespan, you know what I'm saying? But my mama and my daddy, they was like thoroughbreds in the hood. So when he died, it was just like a must. Like this, where we going? Right, right, like, right. You know what I'm right. saying, like this, 
you you must attend this. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. So I was I was probably about eight, nine years old. You know what I'm saying? But I remember it vividly. You know, I don't forget too much. I remember us lighting the candles. He died on Ninth and Center. I stayed on Tenth and Center. You know what I'm saying? So I was right up the street. Wow, that's deep. I never knew that. Yeah, he died on Ninth and Center. You know what I'm saying? And that's why they just named it uh, Dr. Huey P. Noonway right there on Ninth. You know what I'm saying? It used to be Ninth and Center, but they changed it. So, you know, I was right up the street, you know, just a couple footsteps. That's deep. You know, so it was like, you know, West Stoken got a lot of history, man. We got a lot of history and, 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 and a lot of people don't know. You know what I'm saying? They just think it's just West Oakland and all that, but like, no, we got we got a lot of history. We got a our heritage is really it run deep. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I take pride in that. And you know what I'm saying? Like, I wouldn't I wouldn't change it for nothing in the world. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, like, right. My people. So, so, people's. so, um, you remember the crack era? Most definitely. How did the crack era affect you? Like, or affect the people that was around you? The crack air, man. Okay, so you know, growing up, everybody, you know, the, all the OGs, they did heroin and powder. They say powder was a player's drug. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. But, but when, I heard crack was like that too at first. Yeah, when crack hit though, it was like a, it was a whole, it was, it was just a whole different, different thing going on, man. Like, it was just like, I used to, I remember I used to go to my, to my auntie house in Campbell Village, you know what I'm uh -huh. saying? And like just seeing it, like just the lines and everything, you know what I'm saying? Hair rhyme machines and you know, it was just different. Like I remember coming outside and really thinking like these certain lines of these people lining up for drugs. I thought it was the free lunch line. Right, right. So like one day, you know what I'm saying, I remember coming and I'm uh I'm walking with my mama, but I'm thinking it's the free lunch line. So I go stand in it. But these are really all customers, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. So my mama like, boy, what the fuck you doing? I'm like, you know, I'm finna get my free lunch, yeah. my plum, I'm finna get my chocolate milk, I'm finna get my right. issue. She's like, no, nah, that ain't that. Yeah. Nigga, yeah. that ain't what you think. That ain't that. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? They so at that get point, she explained that to yeah. you what was going on. She like, on. They, okay. ain't, they ain't doing that, baby. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, because they going um, to get you want to know what's crazy? Um, My parents, they didn't hide that shit from me either. Like, you know, um, they let me know, like, oh, yeah, this is that and this is what they doing. You know, they didn't uh, shelter me from the shit. So by them educating me and gaming me on it, I knew to stay away from it. Most definitely. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I know in today's society, in today's world, that um, people shelter their kids from certain shit, certain things. You know, um, too much exposure can be bad, but I feel if you educate them on something and you let, like, for example, my son... Um, I let my son know what guns are. You feel me? Mm -hmm. I teach him how to handle guns. I don't teach him how to use guns to destroy. I just educate him on them. Like, to where you he know, know what it is. To where he know what it is. To, you know, if he ever come into a situation where something is laying around, he know not to just pick it up and play with it because of what it can do. You know exactly. what I mean? Mm -hmm. He know to get an adult or if he in a situation where he have to use a gun or he know how to use it properly. You get what I'm saying? Most definitely. So my parents, they didn't shelter me like, yeah. oh, um, that's bad stuff. Yeah. No, nigga, that's crack, and it's going to fuck you over if yeah, you smoke it, definitely. nigga. You feel yeah, me? most definitely. And that's how they got at me. And, yeah. You know, that's how my daddy that, was. Yeah. My daddy was like that. Rest in peace, man. He, 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 he had a crack house with my uncle. You know what I'm saying? And my mama used to be like, go around the corner to your daddy. So, you know, I go around to like 14th of Peral to that area. Right. You know what I'm saying? That was real big on the hair around and shit. My godfather and all that. So, I go around there with my daddy, and they... You know, they doing, they, they look in the kitchen. Right, right, right. They cooking up coke, and he telling me, like, that's, you know what I'm saying? This right, was right, going right. on. So they would give me a pocket full of money and just tell me to run straight home. Don't stop for nobody. Take right, it right, to right. my mama. You know what I'm saying? So like you say, too much exposure can be bad, but letting your kids know what's going on is 
you know what I'm saying? It's knowledge. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, that's how I, that's how I live with my kids. You know what I'm saying? Like, my daughter, my son, like, they know. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, they know this ain't, you know what I'm saying, what to do, but this is what it is. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, you know, I just, I stand on, I'm like under the Old Testament. I don't, right, right. I don't like the New King James Version. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, I'm under right. the Old Testament. Cause it's, it's crazy like, you say that because I know a lot of preachers, um, they don't preach from the Old Testament. They preach strictly New Testament and vice versa. Yeah. It's crazy you said that. So, yeah, yeah, so it's like, you know, I just, I just try to really stand on how I grew up. You know what I'm saying? Because right. nowadays, a lot of things that we see in the world, it, it is like a facade. It right. ain't really what it is. It's just what they want you to believe. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, right, right. So I just really like to stick to my roots. Now, don't get me wrong. You know, a motherfucker keep up with the times or whatever. But as far as like the foundation, me standing on my two feet, my morals and how I came up and, and you know what I'm saying? Right. Being loyal to this game and shit. I'm up under the old thing. Oh, you know what I'm saying? I, I can't change that. I won't change it. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? You know, I, 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 I be up to, to tune with what's going on now. But as far as like my foundation, my roots and shit, I, I stick to the old school shit, man. You know what right, I'm saying? Right. So, so as far as your music, um, I know you've been doing your rap thing. You've been fucking with it. Um, as far as your, as far as your mm -hmm. music, what, what do you want people to get from your song? Like, what do you want them to get from your music? Are you coming off as a hyphy rapper? Or are you on some um, pain shit? Or are you on some club shit? Like, what do you want people to take from your high? When I make music, bro, I don't, I don't make music as far as like what the people want to hear. You know what I'm saying? Not like that. Like, you know, I know that. I, I speak from life experiences. When I when I make a rap, whatever I say, I done been through it. You know what I'm saying? I done lived it. I done seen it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not I'm not telling you something I read in a book. Right, you know what I'm right, saying? Right. I'm telling you this my life. Right. This what I've been through. Like this ain't no. You know what I'm saying? Like I didn't I didn't read this riddle and then go get on the mic and try to make it sound good for you. Like, this real life shit I done been through. Right. Like, this is what I'm living day to day. This is what I done been through. This is what I done saw. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is this is me. This is what I'm in. You know what I'm saying? So, right. like, when I make music, that's the type of music I make. Right. So, right, if right. you want to hear a motherfucker that done a, a, a story of somebody that done been through some things. Right. Then you should listen to my music. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, right. If you want to hear something where a motherfucker done went on YouTube and listened to everybody else shit and then come replay it back to you, then I'm not the I'm not the artist for you. Right. You right, know what I'm right. saying? Like I'm telling you, I'm telling you. So what, you know what speaking I'm on that, how do you feel in the the state of music now? Because it's crazy you said how a motherfucker go listen to YouTube and and go go mimic somebody else culture somebody else life and do them and they pop off like but then when you get to a motherfucker like me and you and we spin that throw shit and the shit that's really going on and the shit that we really been through that pain we might not can um deliver it on as good as level as you know uh such and such and such and such but we really went through that and this person probably never didn't but at the end of the day they get glorified and they and they and they're so popular, but when it comes to a motherfucker like Blood or a Johan, you know, we got to break a knuckle and knee. So how do you feel about the state of music? Do you feel as if, do we need to tone it down and be boosy? Or uh, I mean, you know, to each his own, man. A lot of times, man, when I when I hear these guys and, you know, whoever, and they, they doing this and that, and, and I know it's not that. I just laugh at the shit, man, because it's like I'm. I can't do that. I can't. I'm not fit to be some to try to be something I'm not. Like I'm not fit to tone it down. I'm not fit to dumb it down. I'm not fit to go this route just to be popular. Like I'm popular right. in real life. I'm right. a star. I just don't be on TV. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so it's like, like walk yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I don't. I don't trip off that. Like I know the real motherfuckers. 
that that know me or know me and my people, such as me and yourself and the Stalins and all. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers that know us really, they know. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? Like we don't gotta imitate somebody else. Right, right. So I'm saying just, when um, it when it come like that, I just that, be, you I know? seen one of your videos. I forgot the name of it, but you damn near went through every hood in West Oakland, and um, you popping out, you rapping, you shot a scene, damn Most near. definitely. And a lot of people can't do that, and for a motherfucker to do that, like it shows what type of human you is. It shows your respect level and what type of motherfucker you are now. And, and I really salute you for that. Most definitely, I, I appreciate that. I'm I'm. What was I the name tell him I'm like um. Damn, I forgot the name of it. I forgot what it was. But I, I I, tell a lot of motherfuckers, like, man, even the youngsters in my hood, I tell them, like, man, I'm OG. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm really OG. Like, I was running up and down Martin Luther King when it was Grove. Right. You know what I'm saying? I was in Dogtown where you you had to run from the dogs, for real. You right, know what I'm right, saying? Right, right. Like, I've been around this shit. I watched the freeway fall in 89, coming out of Cypress store. When the freeway went down Cypress Way, not yeah. Mandela. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It went down Cypress Way. You know what I'm saying? I watched the freeway fall. I watched right. the top fall on the bottom. Right, like, right. I'm OG. Like, I don't got to, like, I go where I want to. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't have beef with people. Right. I'm not funking with nobody. You know what I'm saying? Like, motherfuckers know me and motherfuckers know what I stand for. You know what I'm saying? Respect is given and it's return. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, right. But other than that, uh, where the check at? You know what I'm saying? Thank Where's you. the money? That part, that part. All that other shit, I, I let that fall to the wayside. You know, I just be me. So I guess that's why I get the love that I get because I stand on my own too. Speaking I, on that, what's up with it? Like, how you feel about the. The political stance in Oakland, like, uh, I mean, you did a song with this nigga, so I can't fuck with you. Like, how you know that old ancient ass shit? Like, I mean, you know that shit is for the birds, man. It's really right. like you know, it's watered down. You know what I'm saying? And it's 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 a a lot of people done fucked up the politics. I'll say that. You know what I'm saying? And you know, it's certain situations that I steer from just because. I'm not even about to, I'm not going to start a gumbo pot. Right, you right, know what I'm right. saying? But I will say that whatever I feel in my heart and in my mind and how I, how I operate, what I know, I know the do's and the don'ts of the right, game. Right, you know what right, I'm saying? Right, right, right. So, I mean, you know, uh, it, it's watered down. You know, a lot of a lot of these youngsters have fucked up the politics and everything. You know, it, it's 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 kind of like a, a lot of real gang banging going on now. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I grew up under the turfs. You right. was from a hood. Yeah. All the slimes Lots. and all that extra shit. I don't I don't be yeah, I don't do that. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sure. So it, it's just a different outlook. On, on my part versus a, a lot of different people, you know? So, I mean, like I said, to each his own. I'm going to do what I do. I'm going to let them do what they do. And, you know. If it was one thing you can change about Johan, what would it be? One thing I could change about me, what would it be? My, I feel like if I had the game I have now, back when I was like 18, I have, I'd be a millionaire already. Right. Because right. my, my mind frame now versus when I was young, like I done did a lot of bids. My first prison bid was in 03, level three yard. I'm fresh 18. You know what I'm saying? So it's like now, all the money I done made and ran through, you know how, you know what I'm saying? I, I would own so much shit around here. You know right. what I'm saying? They'll probably think I'm 60, 70 years old and this <laughs> operative business is the shit that I own. You know what I'm saying? Right. But those are life experiences. So when I look back on it, I, I, I look at that's what makes me me. You know what I'm saying? That's what makes me me. That's what that's how I got the knowledge I got by bumping my head. Right. You know when mama told you the iron was hot and we was playing crazy and still touched it? You know what no, I'm saying? My mama said it's roaches in them cereal boxes, Larry. Said no, it's not. Yeah. And I poured it right just Yeah, you still going. Yeah. But that's 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 how we picked up the knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's like 
it's a lot of things I would change, but I wouldn't change it for nothing in the world, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, because that's what makes me me today. You know what I'm saying? It's what gives me the knowledge. It's what gives me the shit that I could pass on to my kids to where they don't touch the iron. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, you know, I I just keep this shit West Oakland, man. You know, we fuck with a lot of people. We got a lot of love everywhere. It's some people that don't like us. That's their fault. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't lose sleep at night. Right, right, right. Thinking about another man, another woman, whatever. I don't care. Right, I right. go to sleep good every night, man. You okay. know what I'm saying? As long as my kid's good, I'm I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? If there's one thing you want people to take from your music, what would that be? The real of it. Really? You know what I'm saying? Right. The the authenticness in it. Like like this real life. Right, right. Like this ain't no, you know what I'm saying? This ain't the Barney's story. This ain't Sesame Street. Like this real this ain't no life. Shit. Yeah, this, this ain't no shit. Instagram, no nothing. I did, it, we didn't even have internet growing up. Right, I had a right. pager. Right, I had right, a beeper. Right. You, you know what I'm saying? I had to pull up to the phone booth and tap in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I didn't go on where my phone at. It wasn't that. You know what I'm saying? Look at the number, pull up. What's happening? Right. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's like, it's different. You know what I'm saying? It's different. So it's like, like I said, man, I just keep this shit old school, man. Original. Like I'm an original West Oakland baby. You know what I'm saying? Right, From the right. bottoms all the way to Ghost Town, Abgore, all that shit. I done ran through all this, man. Right, right, right. Everywhere. I done ran through all this. Motherfuckers see me, they don't be like, oh, there go that nigga. Man, that's yo. Yeah, what's that? Bro, what's up? Hey, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Sure. Like, that's that's just me. That's how I carry myself. That's how I grew up. That's my personality. That's sure, me. Definitely. I don't I don't be with all that. I don't be with the extras. You right, know what I'm right, saying? Right, I don't right, do that. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So, did prison help you as a man or did it fuck you up? Prison helped me a lot. Right. Prison helped me mature. Prison helped me see shit for what it really is. You know what I'm saying? How, how, who will be there for you and who won't. You know what I'm saying? Like, prison helped me all the way around the board. You know what I'm saying? On the good and the bad. Yes, I miss a lot of time away from my kids, my mother, rest in peace, my daddy, rest in peace. You know what I'm saying? Like, I miss a lot of time from my people, but prison also sharpened my tools to be the man I am today. Right. You know what I'm saying? As far as the do's and the don'ts and the, you know what I'm saying? Just right, right. just really a stand-up guy. You know what I'm saying? It helped me mature growing into a man. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it's a lot of stuff I change in my life, but it's like, that's done. You know what I'm saying? And that, and it helped me. Right. So look, though, it's crazy. I don't wish jail on nobody. G-O-D, I don't wish jail on nobody. But a lot of these stupid ass niggas who just doing stupid shit, doing the senseless killing, the senseless just in a way, just weird ass shit, just moving wrong and minding wrong, bro. If them niggas can get a taste of that, like the shit that jail install in you and, you know, help you to be, it's like a school to me. It ain't, it ain't like, you know, it's just like a, a college or something. It's like a school because you learn so much and you... um you meet hella different cultures. You meet hella different gangs and just different shit, different slang, different game. You just you just develop hella shit. You read. You know, you ain't on drugs. Your mind is fresh. You working out like you really at a supreme level. You feel me? If these niggas can get a sense of that, bro, and a taste of that, bro, I promise it'll be less murders, less killings, more people shining, you know, more people just trying to live. I, I'm gonna be honest with you. If a lot of these, the the younger generations, and you know, it be some people our age be out here doing this dumb shit too. Yeah, but it's sure. really a lot of the younger generation. And I must say, if they got a dose of what I went through in all my terms, and how it feel to be in that cell lonely, and all these people that they they glorifying, and these bitches they trying to show out for. These people ain't gonna press five, right? You know what I'm saying? Ooh. They ain't they, they they not gonna put no money on the phone. Ooh. And then when 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 I call you and have you three way her or mm. three way him, and I and I need a few dollars for the ramens and all that, mm. it it sound good on the phone, but but when you get that print out that receipt, it right. it's not gonna add up. Right. The, right, the, right. It's the funds not gonna be there. Right. Right. Like right. motherfuckers ain't gonna take care of you. 
Right, It'll right. be the oddest motherfucker you would think I never looked out for you. That's going to look out for you. The motherfuckers that you swore up and down, put your life on it, that'll be there for you. They ain't going to be there for you. Right, right, These bitches right. that you showing out for at the club, trying to do all this stupid shit and dumb shit, they, they going to be going about their business. Damn, they don't, Look, I went to jail, right? My first prison bid. And I, I was fucked with this bra. I'm talking about, I, I'm fucked with this bra every day. We, my, we doing all the shit. And I called her. And you know, she told me, she said, I don't do jail. Hmm. And I'm like, what? She told you this while you was in jail? Yeah. I said, what, yeah. You, what, you, what you mean? Like, like, I don't do jail. Like, I don't write letters. This is what she told me. Right. She said, I don't write letters. I don't visit. You know, none of that. Like, and I'm really like, you know, I'm 18, 19. I'm like, damn, bitch. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you was my bitch for real. Yeah. And then, you know, as the time went by, you know, I was doing my time. She had a baby on me. Mm -hmm. She had a baby while I was in jail. And when I got out, it was like, what's up? Like, right. what's up? Let's make it work. And it's like, what is there to work? You know what I'm saying? Like, you spoke your piece right, when right. I was you in jail. So now I respect that and I understand it. But like, nah. Right. Like, nah, I ain't, you know what I'm saying? So I say that to say this, like, a lot of these youngsters that's doing what they doing and carrying on how they carrying on, if they knew what I knew, right, they'd be doing something else. They'd be do something totally different. Even if it's not going to get a job or straight, they wouldn't be doing half of the dumb shit Still that they doing. Because right, right. I'm going to tell you like this, the they got a place for you. They got a bed for you. Don't ever think it's too full to where you can do something and they ain't got nowhere for you to sleep. They'll let you sleep on the floor about that system. They got somewhere for you to be. And the judge, they going to sentence you and they going to go home later on to their family. You know what I'm saying? It ain't going to be no, damn, I don't want to give him no time. Wanna, no, I'm finna give him this. I get off at five, six, and I'm finna go home to my family and eat dinner. Right. You know what I'm saying? Why you sitting in the ice hole some motherfucker where. So, you know, I, I, I just hope motherfuckers take heed to a lot of things that they be doing and, and, and really change their way of thinking. Because a lot of the shit that they glorify or that they think it is, it ain't. Wow, bro. That's raw as hell. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate you. Definitely needed to hear that. Yeah, like, like for real. You just touched on some cold shit, bro. And that's for real. Like, you feel me? I appreciate that. Because not only did I needed to hear that, y'all needed to hear that shit, too. Because yeah. that nigga just went, I don't know. Yeah, like, you know, I done, I, done, I done been on the yards. I done federal prison. I did time in Colorado. I done touched down the area prison in California. Right, you know what I'm right, saying? Right. I, I done been there. I done walked it. I done seen it. From stabbings to niggas getting jumped and, right. and, and niggas getting packed. I didn't, I didn't seen it. I'd have been there. I'd have been right. a part of it. I, right. I know how I feel. I know how I feel to when the store come, you ain't got no money to go to the store. I know how I feel. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? I ain't no big bank Hank. I always went to the store. No, I ain't always go to no store. Right, right. I know right. how I feel. Right, right, right. Niggas going to spend three, four, five hundred and you going to spend twenty, thirty. Right, you know what I'm saying? Right, 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 I right. know how I feel. Right, right, I've right. been there. You know what I'm saying? So it's like these motherfuckers that think it's a game, it ain't no game. They just call it that. You know what I'm saying? They just call it that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, to each his own, man. Right, right, right. So, yo, high, yo, highness, yo, summer. Fucking around, if y'all didn't know, Lord Bottom Finest. Most definitely. One Most of the definitely. coldest nigga I know, and I'm glad I got to kick my shit off like this with this one, because this definitely, a nigga needed to hear that, bro, and a nigga really appreciate you, bro, for even having to sit down and fuck it with me, bro. You already know how so we do it. definitely, nigga. Definitely. Anytime, whatever we can do. Flood, you already Let's know. Let's do it. You already know. We can sit down and fuck with it. For sure. Appreciate you, bro. What's your shit? How we gonna find you? How we gonna contact you? Definitely, man. You know, Instagram, yo, Sama underscore been had it. You know, man, I'm I'm around, man. I'm not hard to find, you know. I'm I'm easy to tap in with, you know, so I'm I'm around this thing, man. You know. So, you know, I just I just wanna say to the people. That, you know, uh, we out here, man. Real West Oakland, man. We push the line. We gonna bring this shit back 
for real the real kind you know what i'm saying we ain't doing the extras and all that we ain't we real we gonna bring it back original you know what i'm saying i'm an 80s baby so that's what we taking it back to you know what i'm yes, saying sir. that's what we gonna take it back to and, and get y'all a dose of how it really supposed to go not none of the new whatever all the extra shit we ain't with all that you know what i'm definitely. saying so yeah that's where i'm at with it man you know your life appreciate it Most fuck definitely. With us. all the time thug. Sir.